One thing I can add is that Casey will always get a higher price buyer for you. <laughs> Hi, Ron Casey from Home Quarters, and today we are very excited and uh, honorable to find uh, two of our very old clients. Of course, not in terms of age, but in terms of experience <laughs> together with us, Sham and Hadija, uh, together to share our closing thoughts together with you guys. I think, first up, maybe let you guys introduce yourself to the audience right here. Yeah, my name is Sham, and this is my wife, Hadija. Hi. I work in the shipping industry, and my wife is in the Housing Development Board, HDB. And uh, we are married for 30 over years. We have three boys. So, actually, we met Casey mm. in 20. 2017. It was just by chance. Yeah, I think that one, there's a, what, what do you call that? Showroom or open house. Open house. Open house for one of my neighbor house. on the second floor at Jalan Damai. So it happened to be that one of his partner, uh, canvassing, asked me whether I want to come and all that. I said, well, what point I want to come? I myself want to sell. <laughs> <laughs> that evening, Casey came. Well, we were comfortable with him. We didn't have to look for somebody else. We let him handle everything. He guided us a lot in advice what to do and uh, even to the upfront of this particular house I want to buy. We do appreciate his service uh, that he rendered to us. And at the same time, about selling and buying of our old house and the current house now we are staying, I find that it's, it's a smooth uh, transaction. So when you guys met me is before I even created this branding called Home Quarters. If you are uh, on YouTube and, and straight to the audience will know that you know this Home Quarters is existing for about I think two to three years time now. Right? So you guys met me before that. Maybe let people know that what, what make, actually make you guys when you're selling your house to choose us exclusively as the agent? First thing is that it's about trust, you know. It's, it's the first impression last. I don't really know him the first time I met him. But the way he explained, the way he's very honest in about how much I can make money and how much if there's any loss, uh, the, the explanation is very um, thorough and very uh, precise, pinpoint, and I'm satisfied. So to me, if that is what I can get, then why should I go and find other agent? You know? So agent is always agent, okay? They just want to sell. But plus, Point I must say about Casey is that he is actually into detail. Absolutely. Even I have I have problem getting bank loans and all that. It's all through his contact. He gave me the contact of uh, UOB bankers, DBS bankers, you know, and I contacted one by one. And then of course it's through him that I got to know uh, all these bankers. I, I got my bank loan approved. So I don't know anybody. I don't know who to contact. I didn't even have to go to the bank and tell the bank that I need home loan. So it's through his contact with the bankers in the bank. It was quite smooth and hiccup is always there. I'm comfortable with him, that's why I don't have to look for somebody else. We have yeah. the trust. Uh, the, the trust that we actually uh, created between Casey and myself and my husband is uh, actually, it's not only uh, like between agent and client, it's more like a friend. This is, this yeah. is what we, we Over the years, we've built that. We've friendship. So now it's been five years yes. and we're still in contact. I'm yeah. staying still staying in the same house. I don't buy, sell, buy, sell. I don't have to. But you know, the, the relationship we built over the years is quite solid. So I really appreciate what he have done because he got the highest buyer for my house. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's, that's my job. That's my job yes, for the result. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Secondly, during the maybe maybe let the audience know during the sale and also the purchase. But I think a lot of audience out there are doing this, right? Maybe a smaller home or a bigger home. They are looking to right size. They are looking to upgrade, right? A lot of the things that they are seeing, uh, easy to say. But actually, while you are doing that process, it's actually not that easy to do, isn't it? You have to move, shift, renovate, and then move in as well. Uh, this entire process, right, together with us, maybe describe how do we make it like a smooth, because you guys were saying smooth transaction, smooth transition. We, first thing is that we have to be very honest into what we want, actually. You know, we want to upgrade or we want to downgrade. Whether we have the budget or not, we have to tell him. And then he will always do a right calculation and advise us whether we are able to upgrade or it's good to downgrade, you know, and how much money we're going to get. You have to be honest if you want to sell. Then you have to decide what you want. And Casey is always there to guide. He will not decide for you. Yeah. So the guidance that he's giving is pinpoint. Whether you can or you cannot, he will tell you. That is one thing that I'm on with him and we are comfortable we are comfortable in fact my house in Jalan Damai it was just Kaki Bukit MRT below every day 
there's agent knocking on my door. But uh, you know, first impression last. The, the first thing that when you talk to them, you can sense that whether they are genuinely, genuinely yeah. sincerely, sincerely want to help. Want to help. Yeah, but the first time when I met Casey on that evening, I can see that he's quite honest. You know, with a piece of paper and pen, he write everything up. And then we sit down and I discuss with my wife. I say, okay, we we'll go go ahead and sell it. We even do the budget, you know, we do all the calculation and see our finances, you know, at the same time, they see do for us uh, what kind of flat that we should look for and what kind of budget we should look for. Importantly, it's actually about when you want to buy another property, you must make sure that the budget that you have when you sell this current property and for the next one, uh, if you plan to either to uh, right size to the same property type or maybe you want to downgrade to lower, you know, and at the same time, we also were calculating on our age as well because age is also play a part in buying and selling of your property especially when you are 55 and above there's a difference on the CPF contribution all this you know so this is all the small small things which actually borrow a lot of uh, seller and buyer forget to look at the part so normally this is what KC has been actually guiding us through and tell us what we should look for and what kind of property so this is where we end up even though we, our old flat was an EA and we downgrade to a 5A which is I'm glad lah, you know, with our budget, we managed to have this still big house, you know, which only a 10 square meter different from our whole house. So, we make do lah, actually, but like, we really appreciate on that. Yeah, so you guys touched on a, a, a few important factors. Mm. Financial calculation, very important yes. for people that are selling and buying. Timeline planning is very important. How to transit because for HDB it's a stay and a stay. How to transit from the one that you are selling towards the one that you are buying. In, in the case whereby you know there's renovation that is involved and also the sales proceed. And uh, of course a lot of other miscellaneous stuff that actually come out. You know CPM, you know what other costs like banks, like lawyer, etc. That will be involved. Of course our contacts will be shared with you guys to help you along the way to make the entire transition and also transit. The law firm also recommended by him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a one stop. I don't know to say, like, yeah, basically, it's like a one stop yeah, thing one that stop. everything is like a package, you know? Package. So he will tell you, like, he have a lot yeah. of context. And I don't want to say about Casey, he have a lot of context yeah. where, you know, you it's just everything like at the tip of the finger, you know? You just tell, oh, Casey, I need a uh, contact lawyer. You give you a lawyer, yeah, yeah. I need banker, bank, you, you give you, you a banker, banker, you know? So this is convenience way, la, you know, from what I see that he has already rendered yeah. a service to us, you know? The one thing that my wife also don't have to go through the hassle. We don't have to stay in a temporary house, okay? That is the most hassle about buying and selling and shifting, you know, when your, your buying house is not ready and your selling house have to let go, you have to go into a, a temporary uh, a flat or something. But we didn't go through that because he negotiated for us. It's quite, it's very smooth and we are very satisfied. Thank you so much. Okay, so that's, that's before, that's during. How about the after? After, of course, uh, anybody who asks me, even now, if anybody come to my house and all that. Oh, your house is so nice. Yeah, who's your agent? Who's your you agent? Know? The first thing they will say, who's yeah. your agent? I still remember on the first Hari Raya in 2019, 2018, yeah. he came. And at that time, we were doing some open house and all my family, brothers, sisters, relatives are all here and introduce him to all our family members. Yeah. He's the agent that who got us the highest price in Jalan Damai. I think important is we still keep in contact with our client. It's not a done deal. It's not a hit and run. We always call it, right? It's done the deal and very transactional. We always like to keep in contact. Anything that we can help with, anything after, maybe immediately after the deal, is there something in the house that we can actually help? Like you mentioned, we have a lot of contacts. So handyman, plumber, electrician, right? You know, even, of course, you guys like love to do your own interior design, but smaller things that, that needs to fix or maybe coordination of the letters from the previous sellers and stuff like that will actually help you all along through uh, immediately after the sale and purchase of the place. Importantly as well, like you mentioned, thank you so much for, you know, throughout all these years that, you know, you guys have been spreading the word out to help us. You know, because our business is always the word of mouth. Right, so maybe I want to just want to ask you guys, what would you tell people that are looking to maybe sell their property, to buy a property, maybe for investment, for own sale or whatsoever? Uh, how would you recommend us, you know, KC or even or home quarters to them? You know, when we start the shipping here, right, then they say they look at the condition of the house because all my friends, they know my old flats and my, my old uh, house and new one, right? So I tell them that actually, but I didn't do a good job initially. Uh, when I recommended them, I say that uh, you know, if your plan to buy or sell any property, you know, you can actually just find out my agent is very good, reliable. You know, at the same time, he's knowledge of 
process is good lah actually. So if you want, you just ask me that I can give you the contact number. So very thank you. I think we heard a lot from Sham and Hadija already. I think a really hallmark of a successful interaction transaction is, is that at the end of the day, the greatest compliment that a client can give you is that they recommend their family, which you did, yeah. right? Your, your own brother and also their neighbors and circle of friends, which you they have trusted your service with. Right, so very thank you for Sham and Hadija. Anything else to add? Uh, maybe before we, we close up this case whereby, you One know, thing I can add is that Casey will always get a higher price buyer for you. <laughs> it happened to me. Okay. It can happen to you. So we didn't expect that uh, I can get a buyer for such a high price at that time. But Casey did it. So if he can did it for us, he will definitely able to do for others. That's the thing that I can add. Last few words for Casey. Thank you so much. Circles of contacts that we have is actually it's a good discussion within yourself and us, and then we really you know, come to a conclusion that we have these two hours for the house viewing and within that two hours, we managed to close it. That, that is the best part. And at the end of the day, yeah, we the managed the day, to get the price that we yes, want. Yes, we managed. We didn't get what we want, but it's the highest. It's the highest. And we closed we, the deal and it was yes. it's a great record price. Thank you so much for all the kind words and also inviting us to this beautiful home that you now call home. Hopefully home quarters are able to serve uh, your circle of friends, family and also hope to get more clients just like Sham and Hadija yes. right, for your recommendation. We'll definitely support you. Alright, so that's it. Come to the end of the Closing Courts episode featuring Sham and Hadija. Very thankful for both of them to allowing us to do a video testimony on this in this beautiful home of theirs and honored to be invited here right so lastly remember call home quarters and start packing